was chatting with a mom this week and she made the comment, my kids are so selfish, that's why they fight all the time. They're always wanting to be first or best. And and I'm thinking in my own mind, what they need is sibling conflict rule number six. I wanna share that with you here. I'm Dr. Scott Taransky and I've created a new course called Home Improvement. You can find it at biblicalparenting.org forward slash home improvement. Sign up for my class uh, and you can take it uh, in the comfort of your own home. But sibling conflict rule number six is about selfishness and the solution is this, teach children servanthood. It comes from an idea that's taught in the Bible. In Matthew, uh, in Mark chapter 10, uh, the disciples, uh, James and John, come to Jesus and say, could one of us sit on your right and one of us on your left? In other words, it's the same problem with children. They want the best seat, they wanna be first. That's selfishness enacted out in life. And Jesus' response to them was, I can't tell you who's going to sit in my right and left hand when I come into the kingdom, but I'll tell you this, whoever wants to be the greatest needs to be the servant of all. And that is what is needed with children. They need to learn what servanthood is. They need to practice it in their lives and we can show them how. So what you're going to do is you're going to practice servanthood activities. Oh, it's time to be a servant here. Who's going to serve here? Who's going to serve there? The word servant is often looked down upon, but it's one of those things that God has called us all to do. And if children will learn servanthood, it'll help them develop the empathy they need for other people's struggles. It'll help them get outside of their own agenda that they're on. It'll help them think about other people and their needs and so on. So Servant, it is an excellent practice. So we're doing that continually. I was playing with my uh, grandchildren, uh, and I brought them this whole bag of Beanie, Beanie Babies, these boys, and they're like six and four years old. And uh, they're using them as throwing them in the trash can. And so we're having a great time throwing the Beanie Bags in the trash can because that's what boys do with Beanie ba Babies. So uh, we, but they're saying this, oh, I beat you, oh, uh, I'm better than you. You know, they're making these comments. So I stopped the whole game and I said, okay, guys, Look, do you know that the person who's the greatest is the servant? Let's think of some servant words we can use. If I throw the beanie bag and I miss, what could you say that would make me feel better? Good try, Grandpa. Yes, and I could say to you, when you make it, I could say, good job, uh, when you actually make it. So we're practicing servanthood. I think all of our children need to learn servanthood in their lives. That doesn't mean we just give them more chores. It means that we are working on training instead of just correction. So they're just complaining about their selfishness. Let's train them to be servants. We can do that by practicing servanthood, giving kids tasks they need to do and talking to them about what servanthood is so they can give up their agenda and serve other people. It's such a great skill. It's what customer service is built upon. So let's teach it to our children and that'll help us deal with this strategic issue in our children's lives of sibling conflict, but also the deeper issue of selfishness that they experience.